what is going on guys it is your boy sister here bringing us cool little photoshop tutorial bringing us a cool little full body uh 2d design video here today showing you guys how to showcase like whoever you know who you're doing this banner for or for yourself if you have a cool little full body picture at least from like head to like waist area you can get a really cool design with it make it look really really nice and attractive looking i have this example here i just did in like five seconds for pewdiepie i'm probably going to use him as like, my example today as well only because it's like one of the only people i haven't done something for or whatever in like my videos anyway regardless it doesn't really matter um you can see what i did here this is very cool um you can see the full body pictures right in the middle dead smack in the middle with this very cool way of separating it being like you know uh this black color is coming into the white and it just looks really really nice it's very simple but i did some for i think uh jen Seltzer so far built franco and they both use theirs as well so if you go to flood defranco's twitter and whatever you can see um that he's also follows me as well he used it as a social media so it was really cool to see I actually show you guys as well why not sistertrue.com portfolio or whatever um, so yeah, this is one that I did for Philly, uh, Philly D, and he actually used it. He's one of my, you know, one of my cool, you know, favorite YouTubers or whatever. And you know, it just it's helped me become like cool friends with him. You know, asking me questions and cool stuff like that. I don't know, it's really cool. Just because this style, you know, whatever. I just you know randomly freaking messed around with some things, and he really liked it. So I did one for Jen Seltzer as well, and she followed me as well. So it was just a really cool experience to see, you know, those people cool, like, those people I look up to or watch or whatever, um, follow me. So it was awesome. So this is the kind of style that I'm going for that I did. And these are just two different examples here. We have one that's like really blank on one side, and and there's really a lot going on on the other side and then this one's really simple like all around which is a, a nice simple like pattern in the background that i use for my pattern pack um and yeah and they, and they both use it and they, and they really liked it so i thought it was a really cool thing to just show you guys how to do it and set it up it's very very obviously very simple if you guys are in photoshop for a while you probably pick this up in a second but to make it really look really clean i can show you guys how to do that as well so here's the picture that i'm going to be using I actually have it i you probably saw me already type in pewdiepie and google I just sent in a really nice picture. I think the only thing you really need for this video is a nice, good quality picture. If you're taking it yourself, I'm not sure if a phone quality would work as much as like a really nice camera or something. Just something that has very, very good quality because that's what you kind of like need. That's all. That's all you really need for this is really nice quality picture and you know make it look nice or whatever you're doing it for. So, pretty much what I'm gonna do actually quickly. I'm just gonna go ahead and like make that white. All right, cool. So if I want to do this right. I'm just gonna, you know, go with it and just kind of show you guys some things. Like, I know it's a very simple video, but I'm gonna make it look as tough as possible just because I wanna get, you know, all the tips in or whatever I can get in right now. So, the pen tool is what you're gonna be using to obviously cut out the person. I will not recommend using an eraser. Please use a pen tool. And I had a lesson earlier last week or whatever, and it was really cool to see, like, you know, maybe who's not someone who's not uh, great in Photoshop or not, like, so I'm not saying he was a bad Photoshop person, but what, I was doing a lesson with him, and it was just very odd that the things I found that were very, like, you know, quickly picked up by me, what I do, or whatever, is like something that's not, you know, secondhand to someone else because they're not in Photoshop every day or they just don't know it as well. So I'm going to make sure I understand that sometimes, you know, I probably do speak a little bit faster than I think I do. I know I actually hear those comments, I'm like, what the heck are you guys talking about? But sometimes I actually forget that not everyone's like secondhand nature in like Photoshop. So whatever, we're using the pen tool today. And like I said, to cut this out, I would, be, I would, I already have the picture already cut out here as well. I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I'm gonna be using this, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I would like do like at least one side or whatever. Um, hair is one of the hardest things you can do. Uh, what I do do at the end when I when I do do when I do at the end is I basically go ahead and like kind of finish it off with your eraser just to give it that more hair feel. But you know you can don't zoom in. I would say zoom in as close as you can before like all the pixels pop up. Uh, so like right about you know or not. I mean you know whatever. As long as you can see, I'm just gonna go with this right now. And I pinned this out pretty well last time, you know. So I'll try and do it again. I was gonna have really spiky hair. Uh, you know, try not to cut too much of his hair out, not too much of the original photo out. I don't know. It's just very here because there's too much pixels. I kind of want to see what I'm doing. Uh huh. Maybe like around here, something like that. Cut like that, you know. That would be like his hair. I don't know, I cut a lot here. I'm not taking as much time as I should be, but you know, I'm just gonna add a point there, put it there as well if I needed to. Um, I will say just try and make it sure it's as, it's as perfect as possible. Uh, for really quickly, if you guys really don't know what the uh, pen tool is, um, you can get any you know curves or whatever, like his jacket curve right here that I would get is I basically click, hold, and I move downward or upward or whatever just to extend the points. You can see these two extended points come out. I can hold control. I can click on either extended points by holding control and moving them. I can move them if I'm just holding control or command. I think on Mac. Uh, I don't know if I actually don't really know, but anyway, uh, command or control. Excuse me. While I'm holding control, I could click on these points and move them really precisely, as well as I can also extend points if I need to. Let's say if this curve was a little more greater than this is, I can just extend the curve just like this, 
or send this point right here that way I can get a more greater curve uh, the, other than that like basically that's really it right there and I can just press alt to close the other extension path that's what I kind of want to do right now just because I know I want to get like a nice little cut or jump here if I didn't have this uh, if I had this extended point still you know extended or whatever it would give me like a weird curve like that and that's not what I want you can you see what I mean like this little curve here if I clicked it would give me that curve but if I hold alt and click on this point it will actually uh, delete it and also start me off with a nice little new curve to get that little bump that I want there and then of course you know whatever other than that it's basically the same exact thing you just rinse and repeat or whatever I would say try not to click multiple times that can look really really messy and choppy when you're doing it when you're pen tooling just find a shape or find an angle and go for it I'm pressing control Z by the way to go back um try not to like if I was gonna do this like really uh, this shoulder right here I would click over here and just one good one just good cut or whatever one good path just to get a shoulder not too many uh, please do not pen tool odd I hate you know, it's one of the things that's probably the worst thing to do if you're like a, you know, even people I know that are really good at Photoshop, like great, extent, like, ex like really experienced at Photoshop, they absolutely blow at the pen tool just because, I don't know, some people just don't really know how to. And I would say just go for a curve and go for it. I'm just going to see what happens when I cut this out. I'm just going to cut this top part out, see what it looked like. Uh, to cut it out, oh, all I'm doing is if I was just doing one side, right, one side at a time, I would go all the way around, all the way around the canvas, or at least or all the way around the picture, and then just connect it at the top, right, like I just did just now. Uh, right click make selection press ok and I can just press delete on my keyboard and you can just delete that part that you just did like this hair is very very choppy what I do uh, recommend is try to use eraser maybe just to give it that you know that hair feature that you know everything is not clean cut like that nothing is ever cut like that I did probably cut a little bit of his hair off um, in certain spots that I kind of need but you know just give it the little bit of the hair quality it needs right just cutting some pieces out like something like that just to get the original look back otherwise it's gonna look very odd being standalone and it does look very odd here but I did have a picture right here that did eh, pretty well I mean it was still fast but you know it's a little bit better um, other than that of course that's how you would use pencil, uh, you know pencil at that focus picture um, I took a little bit of time on that just because like I said before in the beginning I want to make sure I get things you know set up clear and you know hopefully it's a better you know experience for you guys anyway to obviously get the the nice little two uh, two colors here all I really did We'll set this up just like so. So I have my picture here all nice and cut out. Uh, nothing else besides the background here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this uh, this background layer. It's going to be white or whatever. It's, it, it just make it white for now. It's fine. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is go to gradient overlay. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this gradient overlay, right? I don't know why that just added that. Uh, I'm going to double click on the first one, the black one here. I'm going to make this an offset white. So about EC, EC, EC if you want to ch uh, check your hex code and see if you want to match it up with mine or so. Or just type that in just like right there in your hex code. Press OK. And then with that offset white, I'm going to click over here. I'm going to put another, like a more of a darker offset. Uh, something like that would work. So I have just uh, all Ds in my hex code. Press OK. Press OK again. And then pretty much I can just change my style from linear here. And I don't want, like, this is very up and down. I kind of want, like, the linear, uh, excuse me, radial, which is, like, a more of a circle on the inside. And the two colors are split with, like, a circle and another circle. I don't, I don't like this gradient. I don't know what it, I just, I just don't like it that much. I don't really know. So I'm just going to go ahead and just change this to radial, which is, like, the circle part, right? Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can kind of see, because these whites are very close to each other. I'm just going to show you what I mean if I just change that to, you know, plain white. You can see that there. Uh, this is, like, a circle inside a circle, but I do not want that white I kind of want just a little bit more darker and I believe it is okay so it is the darkest is on the outside or excuse me the second color is on the outside and then that way we just have a nice little gradient here um is this picture hiding the uh no all right that's pretty good so basically what it did I just put like a better white background on so you see this is a plain white background it looks whatever you know it's just a plain white background of course but if I put this nice little gradient on it it just makes a nice offset white a better like atmosphere kind of thing setting up the banner for you no know, success or whatever right all right cool so I have that there now uh, I think the, all the time I have a block color right on the left side you guys saw me with the examples here I just had a block color on one side right and I wanted to make sure I made that block color a nice color that stands out with either the color uh, complementary to whatever you know, the person's wearing. Like she's wearing purple and blue. And of course, she, uh, this person, Philip DeFranco, is wearing like a burgundy, like what is this, like burgundy pants? I really don't know the color. Uh, anyway, I have like, you know, 50 shades of these pants as well. But, you know, he has a nice blue, uh, blue dark blue here. Although I did actually put a uh, color correction on all of these as well. So they're probably a little bit more darker than they usually be. Um, other than that, I just picked a nice color that would go with it. So I thought for uh, PewDiePie's, I had, uh, I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a rectangle marquee tool here. On a new layer, 
I'm gonna click from one side and just drag to the other side, right? Just until the middle. I won't want to get it in between this space. I just want to keep it right in the middle here. Uh, if you have tr uh, trouble finding out where the middle is, uh, Control R brings up your rulers. I already have rulers in this area, so I just actually guessed the middle and I did get it right, almost right, like one pixel off actually. Um, I just guessed the middle. And there we go, that is the middle of the header. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a color from his jacket. I, will, I can take a uh, color from his pants if I wanted to. I'm just gonna take a color though from his jacket, like the darkest shade I can see. I would say that one, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more darker. And since that is my foreground color, I mean, that's my background color. So that's actually, uh, uh, I think it's control backspace to quick fill the background color. I was correct. Sweet. Cool. So that's what I have there. And you can see here, it just it's still obviously the same tone as this blue. But you can obviously see the picture is still popping out. And we still get that look that we want. And what I'm going to do really quickly is actually going to put a color correction, or not a color correction, but just basically a, a nice little brightness and contrast right above everything really quickly. Uh, nothing you know, crazy and dramatic that's going to change the appearance of the picture. But something just like this. All right, cool. Looks really nice just like that. That's all I want, just like that. Cool. So pretty much I'm going to double click on this little blue here. And what I'm going to do, I selected that color just because I'm going to use this as my gradients, uh, I guess like you would say preset color, right? Press in your gradient overlay here. We're going to double click on this or, or just click on this again. Double click on this black first. I'm going to do is take this blue that I got, right? On this forest forking color. I just clicked on the jacket member and I just basically made it a little more uh, darker. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. Click on this, but I'm gonna make the second one a little bit more darker, just a tad bit, right? I'm gonna press OK and OK again. I'm gonna go to style and change this from linear to radial as well. I'm gonna put this up just a bit. And you can see there's a, there's a lot of gradient lines going on here, so I'm gonna try a, a bit of a lighter color, see what happens there. Uh, or what if I just go really dark? Uh, all right, that's not too bad. I do, I really, really hate gradient lines. Uh, to fix these things is a very tedious very very tedious thing to do um but otherwise you just gotta like really deal with it most of the time i know it's so hard it's one of the like the biggest struggles in photoshop is just trying to figure out how to lose the gradient banding i hate it so much but uh whatever you would if you just want to try just to like mix the colors a little bit more better uh obviously it would be look it work out a little bit hey, let me see what if i just take this and make it a little bit more darker maybe uh no not lighter we want it definitely a little more darker uh, something like, all right, I don't know. I don't want to really mess with that. I kind of like how it, it's not as much banding, but it looks good right there. And basically, you can see what I did here is I just took the solid color that we got before, and I made it into more of a gradient with that radial, which gave the, uh, the left side a little bit more depth or whatever. So you can see here, if I just, uh, uncheck the gradient here, I would say that this looks a lot better than this. So, I don't know. You can deal, you can see whichever one you like best. But basically, here, we have this set up here. So I can just put some text really quickly, right? Uh, da 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 pew die pie right we'll just shrink this down this font is called kenyan coffee you guys ask me so much and i always say it in my videos actually i don't really always say it in my videos i expect you guys to look at the font to get the font name but you know i don't know that's gonna ask for too much now like nowadays all right so pewdiepie um you can do whatever with this obviously this is very nice like this is very base right now i'm just gonna go with something right i'm gonna make a new layer i'm gonna do something like i'm gonna make like a thing here uh, I'm gonna just fill this in with that white really quickly and I'm just gonna cut like this side off maybe right I don't know I'm just thinking of different things move it to the left I did this before right um what I can do here is like put like what he is right he has a YouTube uh, game YouTube gaming commentator sure I think oops don't discard uh, there we go we'll just type that in for now I will use the font Nexa Bold for my subtext. Uh, I like how that looks. I can just shrink it down about two and put that like right there, right? Something like that. Um, I can put a social media on the top. I can do whatever I want to do. I can also do what I did beforehand. I did a new layer. I just took like a rectangle, right? I took a rectangle, with the, which is the R, uh, M on your keyboard for the shortcut, the rectangle marquee tool. Click and drag over something, right? Uh, fill it in with any color, really. Just Maybe just a white, right? Just to get this base going. I can put it on like cool overlay, make it like a line through it like that. I don't know, just different things I'm learning just like right now, I'm just experimenting. Um, Control T to free transform to bring up this box here. If I click like if I click somewhere around the like the right side or whatever, uh, the upper right, I can get this rotation tool right here. You see this is how my arrow changes from up and down, right? I can change the mo uh, the scale of this, or I can change the rotation of it, just like so. I can change the rotation, put like a cool little thing there, right? I can just make a little cool little strip going that way. I don't know, make sure it's as even as possible. A cool little strip going that way. 
Uh, you can also use my brush, uh, my excuse my pattern pack for this example. Uh, I can just use the pattern pack really quickly just because it's a very quick thing to do for patterns. Uh, I really do like it. I use it almost every single one of my designs. Uh, just use like something cool. Let's use something cool. I'll uh, just use the regular squares for now. Something like that. Nothing crazy, right? Put the opacity back up. Uh, some simple squares. We'll just change that there. And under some simple. Uh, I, mean, I, really, I really like how that looks. Uh, something like that. Maybe a little bit more better. Maybe. I don't know. That, that The scale is completely off. I need to fix this. It's just like going to hurt my eyes. Uh, put it back to 100%. And I'll think I'll move this down just like so. And then I'll move that there. Make sure we put this below that. There we go. So we got some squares going there. Uh, what I can do as well, if I really, really wanted some color in this background, I don't really have anything crazy. But what I did for the example, I just made a new layer. I used a rectangle tool. And I just placed click and drag the entire way. And I just chose a color that I kind of see what if I wanted to like. Uh, we'll just use something like this for now. We'll just click and put it on for now. Uh, that green is nice. Um, it does still go, kind of. I kind of like how it just goes with this, like, white and this, like, really nice navy blue here. Change the color again. Let's just see what else we can get. Uh, I do like that green. I do like that lime green. I like that orange. That doesn't go too bad. What if I change the color of his pants? Uh, not too bad. I like a, a lighter shade. Doesn't look bad at all, either. Um, it all depends what you really want to do. Uh, I kind of just want to stay with that green. For now, there we go. So right here, this is just basically how I'm going to start off my cool little design for the project or whatever I'm doing it for. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, if I really didn't, maybe if I didn't have this color here or these uh, rectangles or squares, excuse me. Uh, where are they? Right here? Nope, that's this one. All right, cool. I can literally put, like, Abercrombie and Fitch, like, right here maybe. And, like, you know, you can see, like, an Abercrombie and Fitch kind of, like, model thing going. I don't know. It's a very clean and very, like, how prestigious looking design. I really, I really, really do like how it, uh, you know, came along. I do like the style as well. Apparently, a lot of people who are, you know, nice and popular, uh, like, net celebrities, uh, internet celebrities and stuff like that, I really like the kind of style as well. So, you know, play with it. Uh, make it your own. And I hope you guys really enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, don't forget, guys, 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below. So, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting lately. And I cannot wait to see what happens during this, like, cool spot. Uh, I almost said summer, winter. Oh, I'm gonna have a crazy, like, really crazy break, and I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna upload even maybe three times a week. I don't even know. I really do enjoy this whole uploading on Friday and Monday thing. So I will see you guys on Monday with a new video. Talk to you guys later. Since so I you out and peace.